We have all heard about the power of networking and that the more people you know, the more that you can do in life. But what do you do if you just don't know anybody, you don't come from an influential family, you didn't go to a prestigious school, or you don't have the right kind of connections that other people seem to have that have helped them get to the top. Watch this video and you will have some ideas of things that you can start today that can help you to network and build a circle of influence in your life. Right now, if you're just at home, you don't have anybody important that you know, you've never done anything special, maybe you have, but nobody knows about it, you're currently a nobody. So let's say you are currently an accountant and you want to rise up the ranks and meet influential people that can connect you to other important people and help you go up the ranks much higher because you're connected. You are not going to meet new people if you don't come out of your shell and put yourself out there. You're going to have to do that. In the olden days, we had to only rely on going to networking conferences. So that meant getting up, going to meet people in person. And it was terrifying because sometimes you could go to a conference and you know absolutely no one. And if it's your first time, it is nerve wracking. So, you know, things were a lot tougher back then. But right now we've got the power of the internet where you could put yourself out there to the world. Yes, it is still nerve wracking. So I'm not saying that putting stuff on the internet is easy. I'm just saying that it is easier than having to get up, get dressed and go to conferences and meet brand new people face to face, especially if you're still nobody and you're still coming up the ranks, it is terrifying. But if you want to level up in life and increase your career prospects, you need to be able to come out of your shell for people to know who you are. You have to become somebody worth knowing. And the way that you are going to become somebody worth knowing is if you've done notable things and you've put it out there, we start now to build a personal brand around the work that you do so that you become known. There are many videos online about how to build your brand, but these are usually geared toward businesses, entrepreneurs, and people of that nature. And I've never seen people talk about how you should actually be doing this for your career as a regular employee and how building your brand can actually skyrocket your career once you become a known for something. You're not trying to become a lifestyle influencer or a celebrity. You are using this tactic to let people know who you are, what you do, and it will bring attention to you. I'll give you just an example. I've been doing YouTube videos for just two weeks now, but already people have come to me to ask me about various things that I mentioned in my videos. It was something that I totally didn't expect and that was not why I started this. But for some reason, when you talk about what you're doing and what you're up to, people pay attention. People are looking and watching. And this is how you could really, really leverage an online presence to network with people because you are going to meet people and it will start the ball rolling in that way. The point of networking is for two people to come together and exchange value and information and to be mutually beneficial in each other's lives. Now yes, one person may be more beneficial to the other, but both parties are gaining something. So you can start this process yourself by putting out valuable information and becoming somebody that has something to offer. So let's go back to the accountant example. You want to rise up the ranks in your accounting career and meet influential people. So what you can start to do is for everybody to know that this is what you do, that you are passionate about this. You start to put up information about what you get up to, your accounting journey. So you need to start to tell your story, share your story on your different social platforms. Now, obviously video is the best way for people to get to know you, but you don't have to go that far if you're too shy. You don't have to do the video method, but it is the best way for people to really connect with you. Now remember, it is a lot easier to make videos when you're not trying to grow a massive YouTube channel. You just need content on your social profiles that gives a brief view of who you are and what you're all about. You could do something as simple as start a blog where you write about your journey and how you became an accountant. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel. A great way to become a thought leader in your space is to teach those people behind you. So you can go back to high schoolers or people in varsity and to teach and talk about the career field that you are currently in. Now, when you do this, you do position yourself as an expert because you know more than they do currently. You may not be on CFO level and cannot currently schmooze with the CFO crowd, but you can talk to high school students and university students about accounting, how you became an accountant. And to them, you're their hero because you are currently way ahead and you are where they are trying to be. So that's what you can start to do is to reach out to people that are much younger than you and give that knowledge and information. This will start to position you as an expert in your field because you know what you're talking about because you have gone there. It is a lot easier to be genuine and to be yourself 
yourself and to share your story regardless of if you think you've made it or not you know there are people that still have something to learn from you and have something to gain from you so don't be afraid to go and teach other people yet there is something that you have accomplished that somebody else is still struggling to do the next thing that you could do is share about a day in your life to bring people in to the work that you are currently doing many of us think that only celebrities have interesting lives but I'm telling you there are people that would love to know what you get up to in your day-to-day -day at work what your job is really like and there are lots and lots of these videos on YouTube to show that people are interested to see what it is that you were up to and when you do that you are letting people know what you're up to and putting yourself out there that's what this is all about people need to know what you're up to and you are then going to become somebody worth knowing that's how it's going to start to build some hype around you is this going to be a slow process probably it's not something that is going to make you have tons and tons of connections overnight but over time you are going to start generating interest and people will say oh no that's the accounting guy or that's the software engineer guy people will know that that is what you're up to this only works if you are building an online presence by giving people value by giving people information education like for instance I have no idea what it's like to work at KPMG or PWC if someone made videos about how people can get into the top four accounting firms whoa that would be an important video to watch on the internet so and by doing this video you will meet new people you may meet people who worked there previously or people who want to work there and this starts to build a circle of influence around you with you at the center as the expert people want to meet people that they can learn from so you need to become somebody that other people can learn to and look for information now yes it may seem that only junior people are talking about you maybe only students are talking about you because you're making content about how to study the particular field or how to get into the field but that's just how it begins because you'll start to build a following around yourself we've all seen Instagram accounts that have 20 followers and we've seen Instagram accounts that have 10,000 followers now which one are you more likely to take seriously as an outside influential person obviously the one that has more followers it doesn't matter who that audience is at the end of the day they have an audience once you have some sort of audience more influential people are more likely to listen to you if you want to collaborate with somebody who has a really big platform you cannot do that if you have zero followers you need to already have something something going on with you that will allow the other person to be like okay they have a reasonably sized audience I can speak to their audience and they can speak to mine the main thing that you need to do is you need to start creating content around what you want to be known for so this could be blog posts on a website that you start this could be videos that you make this could just be pictures that you post on Instagram with a caption about what it is that you're doing you could tweet about it there are so many platforms that you could use to get information out there about what it is that you're doing but the main thing is make sure you are providing loads and loads of value education information and insights getting people into your world yes it is all about you but you are giving people information at the same time I hope that makes sense once you've created some content and you started to gain traction and gain a following then you reach out to people that you would like to collaborate with now this is the fastest way to grow on the internet if you collaborate with other people because that is how you can get introduced to new audiences because currently with your social networks that's just the people that you already know and you've connected with but you need to get brand new eyeballs onto your work and one of the best ways to do that is to collaborate with somebody else in a similar field that you are doing now someone is not going to want to collaborate with someone who has no content who has not published anything or done anything so you have to have some content already an influencer with a hundred thousand followers is not going to want to collaborate with you if you have 20 followers so what you can do is ask to interview them ask if you can interview them or feature them on your platforms where you tell people about them and their success and that is what you're doing this is a fantastic way to get yourself out there because yes you're making the post about them you're interviewing them you're not doing a one-on-one -on -one collaboration they might not have the time to meet up with you when you write about them or talk about them very positive and helpful piece of content that you create about this person the thing is people love being interviewed a lot of people have sections on their websites of all the media and shout outs the things that they've been featured in so the chances of someone agreeing for you to interview them or for you to write about them is very high then what is going to happen when you publish this content piece that you've written or talked about about this person they are most likely going to include a link on their socials of hey this person interviewed me this person wrote about me. now their fans are going to go onto your page to read about you know their favorite person and they're going to come across your work so this is a fantastic fantastic thing 
to do to get new people on your platform. This is not going to work if you don't currently already have some content on your page. Some of those people that come from the person you've written about are going to stay around on your platform like, oh, this is interesting. What else is this person doing? And they might you know, engage with you even more and that is how you gain new people and meet new people. Now, not only have you gained new people, you also now have a connection with this person because if you interview them, you might now have their number, you might now have their email. This becomes somebody that you know and you are now associated with that person. Now, you could go around and do this with a bunch of people that you admire. People aren't always going to agree to be your mentor or allow you to be in their close inner circle, but they will allow you access to them if you want to do some sort of media piece about them. And then what happens is that other people similar to them will be like, oh, she's associated with this person. I should be associated with this person too. You create sort of like a, a competition or like a hype around you. I'm telling you, this thing is amazing. Now, another thing that you could do besides interviewing people, you could also find other people that have podcasts or YouTube channels and ask if you can come on as a guest. Especially with podcasts, people are typically quite open to having guests on their show. But you need to come with a plan. You need to already know what it is that you want to say, that you want to talk about that is going to add value to their listeners. The best way to get attention to yourself is if you help other people. Now, if it is in line with the content that they're producing and the work that they do, they will definitely agree for you to come on and that is more followers that you'll get from their audience. If there is someone that you really, really admire, but they're not huge yet, they still engage with their fans and their followers, and you're too nervous to just come out the gate and ask them if you could just interview them on your platform. What you want to do is to start to build rapport with that person. Follow all their content. You know, don't plug yourself. Don't be like, oh, I have a website talking about the same thing. No, engage with them, comment on what they're doing. And because of that, they will start to see you as a loyal fan. And so when after a couple of weeks or even a few months, depending on how big they are and how shy you are, they will agree for you to interview them because they already have seen you very active on their platform, really engaging, asking them questions, about their work so if you first come across as loyal fan someone who's interested in them and engaging with them by the time you ask them can I do an interview about you they should have no problem with that thing. you must genuinely be interested in them don't just use people to get ahead and you say oh this person has a lot of followers if I ended up on their page then I will get someone don't have that level of thinking with networking people will see right through that kind of behavior oh this person is just trying to get something listen people that have huge platforms are used to being used by people they're used by their friends they're used by their families they are used to this so they will spot and smell this behavior a mile away so don't do that kind of thing okay. what's going to happen is that over time people will start to reach out to you once you've created enough valuable content and information people will start to look to you and possibly ask to feature you on their platforms now this is what this is all about this is going to enable you to meet new people to become influential and as time goes on you'll become a bigger and bigger influencer and be able to meet even more important people and now when you go to conferences or you're in the presence of really important people you could be like hi I'm so and so I actually have a YouTube channel with over 10,000 subscribers where I talk about everything to do with accounting and blah 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 blah. you see when you're now in the presence of this person they'll be like oh okay you have now become somebody worth knowing remember I said at the beginning of the video that the point of networking is to exchange value so once you have provided value some people will want to gain from it and learn from you and this will allow you to meet new people and bring new people into your life and increase the circle of influence that you have if you enjoyed this video and these tips please subscribe to my channel so that you can join this family and become part of the movement of providing content that is valuable helpful and useful okay that is what we're all about on this channel so consider sticking around